Hello everybody and welcome back to another SAT video. So we're doing an SAT math video and we have a question for you guys. So first of all we have this equation d equals 16t. So the problem is the given equation represents the distance d in inches where t represents the number of seconds since an object started moving. Which of the following is the best interpretation of 16 in this context? So what we're going to do is we're going to go through each answer choice and we're going to use the process of elimination to determine which is our correct choice. And this is always a great strategy for SAT math problems because sometimes you won't know the answer right away, but eliminating wrong answers can help you quickly get to the right answer. So let's start with answer choice A. The object moved a total of 16 inches. Now, this answer choice is incorrect, and the reason is because the distance clearly depends on the time. If t changes, then d will change. So, t can really be anything. t is the independent variable. So, for example, let's say t equals 5. Then distance would be 16 times 5, which is 80, meaning the object moved 80 inches. So, in this case, the object did not move 16 inches, it moved 80 inches. And the object can move however many inches, it just depends on what t is. So this is incorrect. Now letter b, uh, the object moved a total of 16 t inches. So this is actually true, but let's think about what the question is asking. It's saying which of the following is the best interpretation of 16 in this context. It's not asking about 16 t. So this answer choice is going to be wrong. Now, letter C says the object is moving at a rate of 16 inches per second. And this seems like it might be true, because when you increase t by 1, it's going to increase the distance by 16. So 16 kind of represents the slope, if you think about this as a y versus x function. So let's hold on to letter C, because it might be right, but we still have to check letter D which says the object is moving at a rate of 1 over 16 inches per second. Now, this answer choice is going to be wrong because let's say we go from t equals 1 to t equals 2. Then distance goes from 16 when t equals 1 to 32 when t equals 2, which is actually an increase of 16, not 1 over 16. So d is going to be wrong, and our correct answer is c.